What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back today for another e-bike review. This time I've got something that's pretty cool and I'm excited to take it for a quick ride. This is my new High Peak Bonnet. It's got a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery. The motor is a 750 watt motor. It is a 20 inch bike and foldable collapsible. It's got a Shimano seven speed derailleur. Top speed is, well, we'll find that out in a minute, but it claims the standard speed is around 20 miles per hour. You get an estimated 60 to 80 miles of range. It's got an intelligent seven level pedal assist. You've got a half twist throttle up front right here. Very nice, kind of like a motorcycle almost, right? You've got four inch fat tires. They're 20 inch by fours, of course. Charging times approximately five to eight hours. And this thing is crazy. Payload capacity is 350 pounds. That is absolutely insane. You've got mechanical disc brakes and of course, an aluminum frame that collapses. Now real quick, I'm gonna give you a demonstration on how this bike collapses down. I'm gonna to try to do it one-handed because I'm holding the camera with my other hand. First, the handlebars. Got this little red aluminum button here. Push it in and pull that down. Now watch this, the handlebars just collapse. <laughs> Look how easy that is. Right here, push this down, pull this out. And when you do that, check this out. It's got like a safety pin over here. You got it up like that, all right? And once you lift that up the frame will then collapse too look at this and you now have a collapsed bike much easier to store into tight spaces and then of course to put it back together easier to do with two hands but make sure you lift this pin up yeah like i said <laughs> easier to do if you've got two hands available and you're not recording but boom there you go just like that pull this back bring it up Latch that down. Handlebars, same thing. Bring them back up, pull this up, click. Look at that, you're done. Your bike is now back together. Super easy to do. It's a 20 inch bike. I actually like these, they're super easy to get on and off of. Your key goes here, battery can come out. You can remove it, replace it, charge it with it on the bike, off the bike, doesn't matter. I like this right here too. You've got a derailleur guard right here as well. Very, very nice. Not all bikes come with these. You got a shelf on the back with these handy straps to hold things on. You've got brake lights, headlights, tail lights. This thing has got it all, man. This is a nice little bike. To power it on, very simple display here. Hold down the M button, comes to life. I think it's got seven pedal assist modes, it does. I like to, I pretty much just leave it number seven, man. Battery is fully charged, it's got one mile on the odometer. You got a bell. You got your brakes, you got your shifter right here. All very simple stuff. Headlights, I think you just push that or you hold it. Hold the plus, there you go. Little light comes on. Look at that bright projector headlamp right there. You got your tail light with brake light, look at that. All right, it's that simple. It's a gorgeous bike. I love the red and yellow. I asked them specifically. I said, I want the red and yellow because it just pops. I love it. Okay, let's put this thing on the bike and let's take it for a rip. All right, are you ready? I had to turn my hat backwards or it's going to blow off. Wow. Wow, really? I'm at already, I'm already almost 20 miles an hour. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, it gets up to speed pretty fast, guys. It's a quick little bike. Don't forget, I already forgot to tell you, but the front forks are adjustable. You can adjust the preload on them and you can lock them as well if you don't want the, the suspension doing the work, you want it hard as a rock and solid, you can definitely do that. As far as rear suspension goes, this does not have a rear suspension. So be mindful of that too, but truthfully, it rides pretty good so far. You know we gotta take it off road. Whoa, all right, all right. All right, let's, woo, on gravel, this thing just rips, man. We're going 25 miles an hour on gravel. Wow, oh my, oh wow. 25 mile an hour on the gravel. Not too shabby. Whoa, whoa, come on now, good Lord, this thing gets it. Now I did, I did crank it all the way. <laughs> I did crank it all the way up. 
let's see if we can go through some of this rough terrain right here. Let's see how it does through some of this mud and sand. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm spinning out, I'm sliding, I'm sliding, I'm sliding. Okay, <laughs> it made it, it did, it made it. That was, uh, that's some rough terrain down there, guys. That is very deep and wet. All right. Cruising a nice little 16 miles an hour. Not too bad, pedal assist seven. Very nice, very comfortable. This bike holds its own. That's impressive. Yeah, this bike is nice. How does it do? Oh, 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 wow. <laughs> All right, well, this isn't the best terrain right here, guys. <laughs> That's a fact, but she does, she holds her own. Not an issue at all. Brakes are excellent on this. I hope there's no snakes down here. Oh my, oh wow, those were rocks. Those were, <laughs> I went over rocks. I didn't even see them. They're covered up by the, oh crap. Oh my God, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see any of that there. So the, sp the suspension really kicked in and saved my hide, man. I ran through all of these rocks and there's more. I didn't know they were there down here. You see the trail of the bike through here, somewhere back here. I ran over a bunch of rocks and I, I had no idea they were there. But when I hit them, there they are, right there. Right there, they were hidden in the dirt. That pile of rocks right there, I mean, you can see the bike tire. I ran right over those into this little ditch here. And man, that suspension, it took a gnarly hit for me. It did. That sucker compressed like it was supposed to, and we didn't fall. All right, let's roll around a little bit more. Oops kickstand there we go <laughs> fixed it brakes are really good and this is really loose gravel and I'm 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 surprised as to how well it's doing on this gravel I can cruise 20 miles an hour perfectly comfortably on this gravel road not a problem I think I really like this more low profile form factor, these 20 inch bikes. It reminds me of when I was a kid riding my BMX bike, you know what I mean? That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of the bikes I'm used to riding as a kid instead of these. I mean, I like the big ones too, the big ones are fine, but I just feel like I'm more comfortable. I feel more at home because this would have been the style of bike I would have been riding as a kid. And it just feels natural to me. Brakes are great. That front suspension really buckles down when you need it to. I mean, really, it's got some good shocks on the front. And here we go. I know it's getting a little dark, but that's all right. This will be my first bike review in the dark. Let's see how those brakes do it again. Oh yeah, yeah. Not a problem, man. Now it's time to get it on the road. can't even see me anymore. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> I told you I love these bikes man. I love and I love this little one. Now I've done about seven miles on this. I'm not a skinny guy and uh, I did work quite a bit 
Um, like I said, we're pushing seven miles right now. I've got three out of five bars. Now to probably actually go back up as I do a little regen by using my legs to pedal and help that motor out some. Um, these do regen, by the way. And I'm here to tell you, it's a damn good workout. And you might think, man, that's gotta suck. Exercise sucks. No, it does it. When you're on something like this, it makes it a lot of fun. A whole lot of fun. I love getting on these bikes and going out and cruising around. It makes me feel much younger. And even though it does get a little hot and sweaty, it feels good, man. It does, it feels so good to get out here and do a little exercise. Ah, oh, that's nice. You know what else is nice? Take a look that way. Look at that. You hear all them bugs out here? Frogs, cicadas, all kinds of stuff out here, man. I love it. Oh, this was a great ride. Uh, I don't ride at night. It's obviously a little risky as it gets dark. And out here, see, there's a deer. <laughs> you probably didn't see it. A deer just ran out in front of me. There he goes. <laughs> um, but on top of deer, I just got chased by two dogs. It was on the time lapse, so you guys probably couldn't see it. But I was coming close to a stop sign and two dogs, a big black one and a, a medium sized kind of white one came out after me, man. They came out of nowhere, just jumped out. They were barking and Rawr! and I was like, oh my goodness. I really, I put my feet into overdrive. I was pedaling like a son of a gun to get away from them things. It was close. They were, no lie, they got pretty damn close. I thought uh, this is gonna be my last day. That's, let's take it for one more round and I'm gonna call it. I don't think we're gonna get 10 miles on it today. We've done seven. We might be able to get eight, but it is getting dark. Video quality is gonna go to hell in a handbasket if it hadn't already. And the bike is just, it's still kicking, man. I'm now, I'm now up to four bars, four out of five, just by doing a little pedaling. And here we are cruising 20. My max speed on this during that uh, time lapse was 26 miles an hour. It seems like most of the time, I could easily maintain 23 to 25. And if I'm just using the throttle only and I'm not using my legs to pedal, um, she'll hold 20, 24 miles an hour all day long. Unless you're going up a hill. I weigh about 230 pounds on 5'11 and a half because the half counts. Uh, and going up hills, we dropped it down to 16 to 18 miles an hour if I was not using my feet to pedal. Uh, the little light you see on the ground there is my headlight, so you can actually see it. It works. It does work. I don't know what it looks like on camera. The camera doesn't do this thing justice, man. But for me, that headlight is working very well. I can see everything in front of me. So, like I said, this will be our last go around because there's nothing left to really see. And we'll get her back up to speed here real quick. Here we go, back up to almost 20, 18, 19, and 20. There we go. Smooth as silk, man. This is a very, very confident, inspiring bike. Confidence inspiring bike. This bike handles great, and I attribute a lot of that to how low it is to the ground. It just, it just feels good. And the brakes. Brakes are epic. All right, I made it back. There it is. I'm gonna turn this light out real quick because I really want you guys to see this headlight if I can get it to stay where I want it to. Let's turn this light out so you can see how bright this little headlight is. I mean, look at that. And of course, it's fully adjustable. If you want it higher or lower, you can go out there and adjust it. But I mean, that headlight works great. It's definitely very visible at night to oncoming traffic. I mean, look at this thing. Tail light also, even though it's dark, very visible, very, very bright. This bike's awesome. I got a good workout in today, guys. That's, that's no joke. I got a heck of a workout in on this one. And you know what else I like about this bike? Look at this. It matches. Hell, that's the thumbnail right there, isn't it? Look, it matches my Chevy SSR. Take a look at that. 
Oh man. Okay, the seat, this is always a pain point for me, but the seat actually quite comfortable. And as I said, I knew we were gonna hit that eight mile mark. And we did eight miles and look at the battery, four bars out of five, turn off that light. There we go, lights are off. And now we can hold this button and power it down and it's off and that's it. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the review and I'm here to tell you if you're looking for a bike like this, man, uh, I, I can't recommend this enough. This sucker is powerful. It gets up and goes. It's got good speed, good acceleration, good torque. It rides absolutely great. And the fat tires on bad terrain like gravel or dirt and mud, excellent. I mean, absolutely excellent. Shock absorbers did their job. If it had been a bike without front shocks, I probably would have lost it when I went over all of those rocks. That would have been, a, I mean, I hit some pretty nasty rocks that would have been real bad. So overall, this bike is amazing. It's, uh, I think it's like $14.99 on their website right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link directly below this video for you guys. If you're interested, just go check it out. They've got tons of other bikes too. Go check out the link below, go to their website and see if you can find something you would like. But I'm telling you right now, you will love this bike. Big shout out and thank you to High Peak for sending me this awesome bike, man. I had a great time with it. The fact that it's foldable, collapsible, means you can put it in really small spaces, whether you're just storing it or you wanna take it somewhere. It's much easier to get in and out of a vehicle when you fold it in half, super stable. You would never know riding it that this thing collapses. It is that rock solid. I put my name on it. Definitely check out their link below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.